Hello, my name is Amelia Lawson. I'm an undergraduate here at the University of Oregon studying Lagomorph Paleoecology of the Middle Cenozoic in Eastern Asia. Lagomorphs are small mammals made up of rabbits, hares, and pikas. Modern day pikas are considered an indicator species, which is an animal that is sensitive to change in its environment and can indicate environmental fluctuations. Fossil localities provide information on diversity, ecosystems, and environment in an area at a certain time, but are highly selective. I use this information to make inferences about changes in geology and geography through the Mid-Cenozoic in Mongolia. In the study, I hypothesized that the lagomorphs will increase in size through time in relation to the rise of the Mongolian Plateau. For my methods, data was collected from the Paleobiology database to form a taxon list, and pub published literature was used to find the body mass proxies to estimate body mass of the lagomorphs. Excel, Adobe Illustrator, RStudio, and Fiji software were used for the data analysis and visualization of this research project. The map on the poster um, displays the sites and surrounding landforms in the research area. The Altai mountain range rose in the late Miocene and in increased the aridity to the east. The Henge mountain range rose in the early Oligocene and caused aridification to the southwest. The rise of the Tibetan Plateau began around 40 million years ago and increase the aridity of the land to the north. Lastly, little is known about the rise of the Mongolian Plateau and when it began, but it is thought to have begun around the late Cenozoic, which is a really large chunk of time. There were fluctuations in the dominant Lagomorph families through time in Mongolia, which indicates an increase in aridity and spread of the grasslands, which supports the previously known Eocene, Oligocene, Mongolian turnover hypothesis. This is supported due to the fact that rabbits and hares uh, normally eat C4 grasses and pikas eat C3 grasses, and C3 grasses are more abundant with the spread of the grasslands. As for my results, the two sites with the largest body mass were the plateau sites in both the Eocene and the Miocene. There was great variation in the species found at the valley and plateau sites, and little change in body mass was seen from the Oligocene to the Miocene valley sites. For my conclusions, the rise of the Altai mountain range had little effect on the lagomorphs in the valleys. The rise of the Henge mountain range narrowed the geographic range of lagomorphs after the early Oligocene. And lastly, this study suggests that the rise of the Mongolian plateau is likely to have begun at the Eocene and continued to rise throughout the late Cenozoic based off the increase in pica size through the Cenozoic.